Now, we know what your position is overall because you have retweeted hashtag end austerity now. Uh, but I'd like to kind of examine a little bit about what that means. This week, we had a High Court ruling mm. that it was unlawful and discriminatory to have a welfare cap on single parents, mm -hmm. single families with children under the age of two. Mm -hmm. The Conservatives are going to appeal against that ruling. Mm. Labour's position, presumably, is you just get rid of that cap. Absolutely. Well, well we would get rid of the... Um, we would make sure that we're holding the ruling from the uh, court decision on Thursday. That, we know that, can I just mention, I mean, that, that for people who don't know, um, was a judgment that said that it was completely discriminatory. It was having a detrimental effect on the well-being of children. We already know we have four million children living in poverty. This is just adding to it. Our position is um, that, that it needs to, to change. Can I ask you about the overall household cap? At the moment, there is an absolute limit to the amount of money you can get from welfare per household of £20,000 outside London, £23,000 inside London. Would you remove that cap? We recognise that for some people uh, listening to this, that might seem an awful lot of, of money. But the reality is what I've just said. The implications for people on the poorest uh, circumstances, the implications around child poverty, which affects children not just while they're young, but for the rest of their lives. It affects how their mm. brains develop and, and, and everything. Uh, and, and so we, the answer is yes, that, that cap would go. We would, we would be looking to see how we do that. Right, because how much would that cost to remove that cap, do you know? Uh, we haven't costed it uh, yet, but we know that, for example, the, uh, the court ruling is about 50 million. So it's not an astrical, astronomical figure. And we need to make sure, when we're talking about ending austerity, Andrew, this is about making it fair. It's not right that 4 million children, three quarters of whom are living in working families, sure, but a lot are of, subject to poverty. A lot of people watching are expecting you to want to end it now, I mean, as soon as possible, not at some point in the future. And we're looking at the range of measures that we have, so, for example, in terms terms of what we said about raising the national living wage, very, very important component about making sure that we have a yeah. uh, regulated uh, private sector rent system, making sure that uh, sure. housing is affordable. That all no, no, those, those things were in the manifesto. The two things that we've talked about today mm -hmm. weren't in the manif manifesto. Mm -hmm. Can I ask about something else that wasn't in the manifesto and there's some confusion about, which is your attitude to freezing benefits overall. At the moment, mm -hmm. there is meant to be a freeze on benefits until 2020. Mm -hmm. Would Labour end that freeze? What we have said is that we would uh, reverse a number of measures. So, for example, the cut around uh, ESA, uh, work-related activity for disabled people, around personal independence pay, uh, payments that the government, very wrongly in my view, introduced new regulations, if, if I may yeah. just finish this point, introduced re new regulations that were going to actually penalise people with chronic mental health conditions. And we thought that this was absolutely wrong. The, but the, the overall freeze you won't end? The overall freeze, the, the, no, we, we, didn't, we didn't cost that in the manifesto. And what you we don't did intend see, to end it? What we did say, uh, because there are a whole range of measures and, and the freeze is one aspect of the 2016 Welfare Reform uh, and Work Act. So, for example, around the cuts to work allowances, which makes mm. the, the universal credit programme absolutely not fit for purpose. It's not going to make work pay. It isn't making work pay. We have a situation where people are, are not receiving any money for six weeks, possibly sure. longer. So it's not really end austerity now, is it? It's end austerity in due course when we can no, afford look, it. Look, look at the, Slightly look longer at the, hashtag. Look at, the, look at the whole range of things that we, we've said that we're going to do. And it is costed in the plan. There's about £2 billion that we have uh, set by um, for transforming universal credit. Right. I mentioned uh, just one thing around the long hello the 62 okay. days before people actually get a payment there are also issues around the getting two payments in one month but not in another they have to reapply for for for, for UC. So it goes on and on so it uh, you know there are a whole range of ways plus what I mentioned about the living wages as well 